Hi, Superstars here, back with another Intimate Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 164, and it's been too long since um, I recorded last episode. I'm just gonna say that, too long. I have E61, three E61 neutrinos. That is 30 billion galaxies worth. Look at the other neutrinos compared to that one. Yeah, it's, it's n nothing. So, I don't even even done my, my big rip. I, I haven't even radioactive decayed yet. Like, this this is ridiculous. Like, I, 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 I've definitely, um, yeah, I, I've, I've slacked a little bit. So, hopefully I, I will, I will get back into this here. And, I mean, I can, I could probably go on main field run. I have E103 prions. I don't think it's going to give me a crazy amount of rewards, but it's going to help me nonetheless. So, I'm just going to go into Nano Field build and um, do this. Yeah, I, I instantly get 20. I get 21 easily. I can probably even get 22 rewards um, without much trouble as well. So, you can, you can just see how, how overpowered I really am. I can... I can get a lot of ghost particle multipliers. I'm not even sure how many I can really get, but it's, it's going to be a lot. And honestly, I think I should just, like, I'm not sure if I, sh no, I, I shouldn't go into big rip yet. I don't, I don't think I really need these extra nano field rewards. I think I'm just going to need to, 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 I mean, I, it's tempting to try to go for the 20 second reward, but really I don't need it. So I'm just going to go back into the usual build, the, which is the yeah, the most optimal build for for grinding neutrinos and then quantum. So this quantum, you're gonna see, yeah E52 to E56 without any problem. So and and probably not only that, it's, I'm gonna get a lot of it, like eternity points, a lot of just everything. I'm even up to E38 cork spin every second because of the radioactive decay. Um, I, I feel like I'm forgetting things. Yeah, yeah replicants. Of, of course, and then and then I can do a little bit of neutrino grinding, and you'll see just how much all these numbers are, these, these boost numbers are increasing. Like I don't I don't really think I need that many neutrinos. I definitely don't need E sixty one. I'm not even sure what's a good amount to try to go for at all. I mean I feel this is up to a hundred percent, which is interesting. Like exactly a hundred. I think that goes over a hundred over a hundred though, but it just happens to be a hundred right now. I feel like if I just, I don't even think I need a lot, just E59 on both town neutrinos and electron neutrinos, because that only takes a few minutes to grind to, and I think that will help, will give me almost just as much as the effect. I don't, I'm not even sure if I need E59, but whatever, I'm just going to, I'm going to get E59 neutrinos here. Hopefully the, the big rip's going to be really easy. Um, I feel like it's going to be really easy. I don't know how many multipliers I can get, but it's going to be a lot. Even with the 20, harsh 25 times scaling, that's still, like, what is it, like, 620, I, I this is like, this is a 6 order of magnitude difference. So, I, I, I can get at least 4 ghost particle multipliers, if not more. And this is, like, added on to the neutrinos I already have. So, yeah, this is going to be crazy. And here's, I'm coming up on E59 neutrinos, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to quantum right away, and just look at the numbers shoot up. Just, all of these just shoot up like crazy. And I'm just going to wait a little bit so I can get a little bit more eternity points, and then keep keep doing it. Um, get a few more of these, and then just go back into neutrino grinding, and yeah, now everything is up even more, which will make the game faster. I, um, but since I don't have the prior, like, Tree of Decay speed, I'm not gonna be able to get, like, as as much, like, Tachyon Particles as before. E219 is the best I've ever gotten. And then Big Rip, I've gotten so close. E217 because of the 13th level of, of the upgrade. I, one day, there will be a time when the t Tachyon Particles in Big Rip is more than the Tachyon Particles outside of Big Rip. So, that that's just one day. Um, right now, it's just a little bit of neutrino grinding. It's not even that bad, I, I think. Just, like, look at this. This is 
all the way up to to I think a one point like I'm not even sure. That's a one. I think that's a one point six nine increase. Nice. <laughs> Um, this is a up to twenty point two seven four five eight. I, there's no way that, that goes. That's yeah. It's only three point nine. So the limit of that really doesn't matter after you reach like four. Seventy one point three percent. This is maxed. Um, five. This is the distant antimatter galaxies, not the remote antimatter galaxies. Right, five hundred thirty percent makes three upgrades even stronger. Boost the first big rip upgrade by 101.8 and boost the Infinity Challenge 3 reward by 17.96 times. So it's pretty exciting. And then, of, of course, the just like this upgrade's making Tree of Decay more tolerable outside of big rip, but it no, actually, no, it, it doesn't do anything. The upgrade only affects in big rip, which is weird. Sort of weird. Uh, I mean, I guess it'd be too OP if it was outside of big rip, but whatever. I feel like this is the time to just grind attorneys. I'm not going to get quite as much as before. Probably because less dilated time. I feel like... Actually, I don't think it would be that much of a difference. I, I have E884. And I think the record is um, this upgrade. The triple the amount of tachyon particles. So, it's only 10 order of magnitude. That should only be 1 order of magnitude banked attorneys. It's probably something to do with like less space shards or something. So, like maybe there's an upgrade. Not, not just... Probably one of these is... I'm, I, oh yeah, attorneys and space shards boost each other, which means actually I'm just gonna quickly go into big rip, not even like do anything, just do that, and um, oh yeah, and of course I need more attorney points and everything, but like, but probably that's gonna give me more banked attorneys because I only have E86 here, and I'm not going for anything like insane, but I, I want I want like at least mid 90s um, on the exponent. So, that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. I don't know why it's, I'm not as strong as before. E E95, that's pretty good. It's, it's not my record, but whatever. It, it's, it's good enough, because I think it's going to be really fast. Like, I have no idea what the ghost particles are going to look like. So, I'm just going to try that. And, um, okay, non-nillions, but we haven't even done much yet. We need to go into break eternity. Um, of course, get all of our tachyon particles. E198 instantly. We're gonna go into Tree of Decay. We're already up to E45, which is pretty crazy. I feel like there's gonna be a little bit of waiting because the quark spin isn't that much, but it's a good experiment, I guess. Um, it's be another good time to dilate for a little bit. And yeah, there's not much to do while, while I'm waiting here. Hopefully, I'll be able to reach mid 50s. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to reach. Also, I, I can, I'm going to be able to get some of these. So, like, this can be deceiving. So, if, if I see, like, E43, that really means E44. So, if I could get this amount of tachyon or ghost particles, that would be about 1 E45, I think. At least that. So, yeah, I'm, let, let's just wait this out. So, yeah, let's we'll see in a bit. Okay, I'm back later, like, a day later. I, was, I meant to do this before, but the new game minus mods were sort of, um, yeah, they, they captured my interest instead of this. Even though I'm in the inflation period here, I don't know, especially new game minus three. <laughs> yep, new game, new game minus three better than <laughs> new game plus three. What, whatever. We can actually get quite quite a lot done here. Since I've waited so long, we have like the thirteenth level of this. Don't quite have this yet, but still, just it, it's a it's a lot, and I I feel like I could get look at this E two nineteen that could break my best ever tachyon particles. Yeah, it's my best ever tachyon particles inside of Big Rip is now better than outside of Big Rip for the first time, which is crazy. And look how much this is actually increasing my ghost particles. I had. Um, and also one more thing, we are halfway to photons. That's, that's, that's another big thing. Halfway to photons. We're actually be 52% and it's pretty exciting, but I know the second half is worse than the first half, unfortunately, even they start, even though they start out as fast, just it, it's going to be a real struggle. The second, the second half is going to be a real struggle. 
But the first half of the second half is not really going to be that much of a struggle. Because I already have a lot of galaxy points here. And I can gain a lot from from these. From just buying buying some ghost particle multipliers. So let's see how much we're going to get. We're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4. We can even get 5. 5 ghost particle multipliers. That is... Um, five ghost particle multipliers is worth is thirty two times as much as many ghost particles. That puts me at e forty seven ghost particles, which is a lot. I have to endure the inflation while it lasts because it is not going to last very long. That is one thing I do know. But anyway, I I feel like it is time to to become a ghost. Get e forty seven ghost particles. Get. One, two, three, four, five, six neutrino multipliers. Just barely, actually. And that's it's really good. I think six is I think it's if, if I'm if I'm right, it's like fifteen thousand times as many ghost particles. Or not ghost particles. As many neutrinos. So yeah, that's a lot. That that essentially puts like essentially one infinity of neutrinos took this is well now took take the same time as an hour of grinding before. Which, yeah, you can see how that seems a little broken, but whatever. It, it, that's what exponential growth does to... And the unfortunate thing is there's not really much I can go for other than photons itself at this point. It, I, I know it's, 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 it's disappointing how... Pho like... Like, it's just all about... I'm not even sure. It's, I'm not even sure what I was trying to say. But maybe we can get more Automator Ghosts. No. Automator power doesn't really increase past this point, unfortunately. So, it's not... I can't, I can't automate anything. I really, really want to automate, like, the limit upgrades and the radioactive decays. Those are the two things I really want to automate. Once I get that automated, I, I feel like it's complete. Like, I don't need... The auto nano field ghost and the auto big rip ghost. Like, nobody uses this anyway. Uh, at least those higher automation things, because I, cause I, I feel like that ghost of eyes are just so slow that you don't really need that sort of automation. But, like, this sort of automation, like automating the. like this part, I, I feel like that should. Um, be automated, but anyway, we're gonna actually just grind some neutrinos at this point. I'm really, really not that much to say about it. We're just gonna grind some neutrinos, and then I'm just gonna skip through to the fourth phase of this Ghostify because we know how they work, and I hope we aren't getting bored by all of these episodes. I mean, halfway to photons, I mean, there's, there's some there's some exciting stuff that's happening, but just still a lot left. Maybe I'll. Start, like, maybe once I get up to higher ghost particle amounts, I may start going for these achievements. I know there's one of them that you can specifically need, like, E70-something ghost particles, which is before photons, to get. And maybe I, I may also play around with the pair of challenges to try to see if I can get any more pair of challenges completed. And, yeah, I'll, 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 just, I'll, just, I'll do that. Maybe I'll even try to speedrun them, because it's, it's just fun to try to... Do stuff like that, but that'll be later. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a little bit later. I mean a little bit. When I mean a little bit later, I mean a lot later. And I've grinded too many neutrinos, and I have e three thousand quarks, which is crazy. And also, I think I have a new antimatter record as well. E ten point almost yeah e ten point four quadrillion, starting in one hundred and ten million BC. That's that's how long I would take. And I feel like maybe I could actually get a Google um, Bank to turn these. Yes, I, I think I will, because it only takes one second to get E99. So a lot of milestones have been reached. It, it's so weird. It's just like so so many milestones. There's the, the attack, E3000 quarks, E100 Bank to turn these, um, halfway to photons, and big rip. Um, tachyon particles being better than outside of Big Rip. I mean, I could try outside of Big Rip. I think it's still worth it to try. 
because I, I yeah look it okay maybe maybe it's not just I I, I there is there is still fight left in outside of Big Rip. Um, there is still some fight left in that. But anyway, we are going to go into Big Rip and go into our um, Big Rip production build. Essentially, hopefully this will get me. I I I, th I think it's so strong just because I have thirteen upgrade. Yeah, thirteen levels here. So, and I, oh yeah, of course I need to go into Break Eternity and and get all that. I already get E216, no, E217 tachyon particles right from the start, which puts me at E47. I barely need to do any grinding. I I think I'm just going to wait like an hour, I mean not an hour, but like half hour to just to just grab these, these ghost particles. Really, I don't need to be doing, ha having the runs take this long. It's... I mean, this is an inflation period. This is not. This is not the grindiest part of the photons wall by any means, because this period of inflation is really nice. It's gonna allow me to. Oh, this seems so much because I only have E45. But the next neutrino upgrade is seven E47. So that's that's sort of why. And I'm only a four E45. So that that makes it seem like it's more worth it to just like get it here even though that's only two neutrino multipliers i will be able to get two um ghost particle doublers i i, I think I'm, I'm just gonna wait like half an hour to an hour and see where i end up so yes yeah, in another bit okay i'm back about an hour later and we can get e50 ghost particles and also we are like what is this 55 56 almost 57 percent to photons, which is pretty exciting, and I wonder if I can get any more. I can get E220 attacking on particles. Not not much more than that. I don't think we can really do anything in Tree of Decay either. So I think it's time to get one, two, three. We can actually get three to get 4.4 E51 ghost particles. So this is gonna allow me to get. I'm, I have no idea how many. Neutrino multiplier is going to allow me to get, hopefully it's good, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 neutrino multipliers, that's insane, so again, this is just another ghost of five, there's not really much to it, so I, I'm just going to do, I'm going to try to make it a little shorter, I'm going to try to make it just one day instead of two days, and hopefully that that's actually, gonna, that'll help me in the long long run here so um so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out